have another question. Douglas MacArthur had two brothers. What is their story? Douglas MacArthur was the youngest of three boys born to Arthur MacArthur Jr. and to Mary Pinckney Hardy MacArthur. The oldest brother was named Arthur after his father and grandfather and so on, and he was about three and a half years old when Douglas MacArthur was born on January 26, 1880. The other brother was named Malcolm, and he was about a year and a half old when Douglas was born. So about Malcolm. In 1883, he contracts measles and dies at the age of four. He is buried in Norfolk, Virginia at Cedar Grove Cemetery. Douglas MacArthur was three years old at the time and didn't really have many memories of his brother. For the most part, when he talks about his family in later life, he always refers to them as the four of us. In his autobiography, though, he explains that Malcolm's death was a terrible blow to his mother and that after that, her devotion to Douglas and Arthur increased and was one of the most dominant factors in his life. After Malcolm's death, MacArthur's father is stationed at Fort Selden on the Rio Grande. Douglas and his brother Arthur find life vivid and exciting at the fort. For a time while they're there, troop movements are on the rise because of the Geronimo campaign. And one day the boys even see a camel wandering by, one of the last of a herd the U.S. Army had started experimenting with in the 1850s to try to figure out how to supply western outposts. Bottom line, both boys loved the American West. At 16 years old, Arthur received an appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy. He received his commission as an ensign in 1896 and participated in the naval battle off Santiago, Cuba during the Spanish-American War. He later participated in naval operations during the Philippine-American War and the Boxer Rebellion. In 1901, Arthur married the daughter of future Rear Admiral Bowman McCalla. He then worked on submarines for a while, and then in 1906 he went to teach at the Naval Academy. His career continued to progress, and in 1912 he was assigned to the General Board of the Navy in Washington, D.C. A young Army captain, Douglas MacArthur, happened to be superintendent of the building that he was working in. In 1915, Arthur was promoted to commander. When the U.S. entered World War I, he served aboard the light cruiser Chattanooga, protecting transatlantic convoys of supplies and troops that included his brother Douglas. For his service in World War I, Arthur was awarded the Navy Cross and the Distinguished Service Medal. He was promoted to captain in 1921. His career continued to progress until, rather unexpectedly in 1923, he died of appendicitis. It was a great loss for the MacArthur family and for the Navy. Had Arthur lived, many historians speculate that there could have been two MacArthurs serving in World War II.